This is a 1964 Royal Safari typewriter. It's rugged, it's portable, and it is perfect for either use at home or for typing your college term paper, especially if you went to school in 1964, as an increasing number of women were back in that time period. But this typewriter also tells us a lot about women's employment opportunities and work for most of the 20th century. Now, typing was once a class that was very commonly taught in high schools. Today, it's a lot harder to find. And while keyboarding may be taught for a few weeks at different grade levels, it's very difficult to find an entire semester where students spend practicing their FF and their HHs let alone setting up margins. And why is that? Well, it has to do with how the typewriter or keyboarding is used in a modern office environment. So the typewriter was actually invented in the 19th century. By 1880, it was found in offices across the country because we have the rise of the big business, the multi-state corporation, and the expansion of business during the Gilded Age. And just like the assembly line slices and dices the different components of the manufacturing process, the business machines and office automation really change the way offices function. And you create different classes of workers and different subcategories of jobs. So managers and executives have the big idea for a company. And down at the bottom level, they're employing large groups of people who are recording, who are processing, or who are even filing those ideas for later use. In 1870, 4% of stenographers and typists were women. But by 1930, women accounted for 92% of people in that job classification. So truly, being a secretary became a woman's job. But being able to type accurately and quickly and skillfully was an important skill that women could acquire in high school or business school that could lead to a good professional job in an office environment. Certainly the higher status and better paid than they would find in a factory. And scores of women were trained to type, to take shorthand, to take dictation. Although most of these women were never ever going to rise out of that typing pool because being a typist was not a pathway to a job in the executive suite. Today, in the 21st century, almost nobody makes a living by typing. Right? And though an awful lot of schoolwork and office work is done on a keyboard attached to a computer, being taught how to type accurately and quickly or using your fingers on the home key of the QWERTY keyboard is not a super high priority in most schools. And that's because the nature of work has changed. Today's young women are not going to make a living by recording other people's ideas. They're going to make a living by expressing their own. And that's why it's okay that typing is not taught in school.